the Baja California Peninsula in Mexico, a land of dramatic contrasts where rugged desert spills into the turquoise waters of the Pacific Ocean. This is a pretty cool way to see this part of Mexico. We're flying into the El Biscaino Biosphere Reserve, the largest wildlife refuge in Latin America. We're getting pretty close in this tiny little plane. And I think within like a couple of hours, you and me will be on a boat looking for some baby whales. That's right, baby whales. Just beyond this dusty landing strip is a unique lagoon a critical habitat for a diverse array of marine mammals, sea turtles, and birds. And one of only three places on Earth where Eastern Pacific gray whales come to give birth. We are in the San Ignacio Lagoon in Baja California Sur, Mexico. And we traveled here, but we're looking for gray whales who traveled here from even further of a distance, all the way from Alaska down through the Pacific, right to this lagoon in order to give birth to their calves. The main feature that we believe is the most attractive to the whales is the fact they're protected waters into the lagoons, guarded by barrier and sand islands, which cut down on the surf and the currents and also keeps the predators out. Their number one predator, the orca, is right outside, but they rarely come into the lagoons. We boarded small boats called Panga, alongside Carlos Gauna, a wildlife videographer who works with the gray whale researchers here at the reserve. How far do we have to travel to get to the whales? It's about 25 minutes from here to the observation area. This whole place is a biosphere, and there's only a designated area where you can interact with the whales if they choose us to engage. Mm -hmm. Do you think the whales have learned this is a protected area? I'd like to think so. You'll see, they come to you on their own accord. All right, Carlos, so I'm really curious if they bring their babies, their newborn babies, to Oh, oh, look oh, right here. Oh my gosh, right no. here, look. No way. <laughs> I was interrupted oh by a whale. whale. Look at the size of this whale. The Eastern Pacific gray whale was hunted nearly to extinction from the mid 1800s to early 1900s. That's my hop, spy hop right there, right there. Oh, oh my right gosh. there, right Whoa. behind us, look at there. Oh, oh, he's staying up. Oh, he's just down, holding himself in look place. Look at that. But today, they are no longer endangered. Whales were hunted primarily for their oil. This is pre-petroleum civilization. The oil was used for lighting, was used for making candles, was used for industrial purposes. Due to the discovery of petroleum, which made whale oil less useful, protection by international whaling bans, and the conservation of sanctuaries like this one, this resilient species has made an incredible recovery. There's no one chasing them, there's no one harassing them, so the boats are not a threat. The last time whales were killed here by commercial whalers was over 100 years ago, and they don't live to be that long. So we think we have a generation of whales here that are not intimidated by small boats. We're just floating here, and when a whale decides, there's one right there. If that whale decides, you know what, I want to go hang out with them, it's going to beeline to us. Right. And let us engage. Yeah. We're not chasing them. I call it being Oh, 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 right here. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He's right there. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Wow. Oh, we just had a face fall. You touched the whale. Well. What an experience. Oh, my gosh. No way. Oh. It was so it yeah. was a little, like, a little kind of And it came mushy. and pushed back up. We've been near other species of whales before where it's important not to touch. But this species of gray whales, and in this lagoon, research says that it's actually totally fine as long as they, they come to you and rise up next to you into your hand. I mean, that tells me they want to do it. We were also approached by a mom and her inquisitive calf. Oh, and there it is with its mom. Look at that interaction. Yeah. Gray whale calf is born. It usually averages around four and a half to five meters long. 
Its mom is usually 12 to 15 meters long at maturity. They weigh close to a ton, ton and a half. The females need to come down and have that birth take place in an area that's conducive to a warm-blooded, air-breathing youngster. If they're to give birth higher latitudes, it's cold, it's dark, it's icy, and it's not good for the survivorship of the calves. Oh, that's a big baby. That is a that very is a large baby. Massive yeah. baby. <laughs> Since ocean waters offer limited visibility, a young whale might never fully see all of its nearly 50-foot-long mother. So touch is essential. Oh, she's right down there. She's right below. Oh, right here. Oh, my gosh. Watch your head. 